This is the one series M Coupe and BMW sort of cut right to the point with it, so I'm going to do the same. Basically, the Go Fast Gurus at BMW's in house performance M division took the regular one series and tweaked the living heck out of it, adding significantly to the styling and braking, handling, and performance capabilities of the standard car. It's like they fed the modest 128 an all steroid diet, emptied a syringe full of Xenadrine into its jugular, and sent it to the gym. This thing looks so muscular, it's nearly busting out of its skin. So the important stuff, it's got 335 horsepower up front, a six-speed manual in the middle, rear-wheel drive, and a really loud exhaust system at the back. No fluffy, sissy stuff here. You can't even get the 1M with a sunroof, fog lamps, or automatic transmission, which is just perfect if you're after a machine engineered from its core to be a pure driver's car with all systems cranked for maximum hooliganism. Flared fenders accommodate wide wheels wrapped in sticky, high-performance Michelin Pilot tires. There's a track-ready braking system with cross-drilled rotors for consistently powerful stopping, and the front bumper has more air intakes than a fighter jet, including these ducts for the intercooler system. The rear end is decorated with four exhaust pipes and the colorful little M badge, which tells slower cars they've just been dusted by a purpose-built Bavarian performance weapon. This car is a big deal and looks that way. In gearhead circles, arriving somewhere in a 1M is like showing up to a party with your new best friend Brad Pitt. Powering it all up is this 3-liter straight 6 with BMW's dual-powered turbocharger technology that cranks out 335 ponies so aggressively the rear tires fight for grip through most of first and second gear. Acceleration is very potent, gear shift quickly via the short, tight 6-speed shifter, and the sound from that exhaust system is sweet, mellow, and loud, even at idle. Stand on it and the 1M blasts down the road quickly enough to make passengers use bad language. Even in 6 gear, rolling on the throttle gets it past solar traffic in a jiffy. Oh, and there's even an M button, which engages a sport mode that dials up the engine and steering and gets things ready to play. Add in the quick, heavy steering and track tune suspension, and you've got a car that's well equipped to chew through the straight stretches, corners, and everywhere in between. The 1M doesn't bite down into the road surface so much as it dances over top of it. With a short wheelbase, tons of torque, and a light and eager rear end, it's a lively and athletic car to drive spiritedly, and you can feel everything the suspension and chassis are up to when you push it hard. Unfortunately, this is one of those cars that thanks you for pushing it hard. It'll get your heart pumping faster than eating a family-sized poutine, and the performance is so obnoxious that it'll make you want to drive like you're from Montreal. It made me want to drive like I was from Montreal, too. So to pay for all the speeding tickets coming my way, I had to get a second job. Inside, the tester got suede trim, a unique instrument cluster, and a mainly black color scheme the way a sports car should. Simple, focused, and concise are the name of the game in here. Rear seats are alright for younger passengers or shorter adults, too. Front bucket seats are motorized and even have adjustable side bolsters, though even after a week of driving, I personally couldn't get quite comfortable in them thanks to a tall seating position and awkward shape to the backrest. Entry and exit are tight as well, and a little more at-hand storage would have been appreciated, too. Other notes, get the Harman Kardon stereo upgrade because it's got enough punch to liquefy every eardrum within a few blocks. The 1M also turns in very good highway cruising mileage when you're not in a hurry. The clutch is sporty and grabby, but light enough for daily traffic use, and the stability control system is expertly tuned to help you safely explore this machine's limits. All right, so pricing the 1M starts around 53 and a half grand. This one fully loaded 61 and a half grand, and on one hand, that's kind of expensive because $61,500 opens the door on a lot of fantastic cars that know a thing or two about going fast and looking good doing it. The Shelby GT500 Mustang comes to mind, bang for the buck. I mean, for a little bit more money than this, you're getting 550 horsepower. But on the other hand, this thing's actually a heck of a deal. I was driving a Porsche 911 GTS the other week, and well, this thing's 90% as much fun to drive and half the price. So if compact car driving dynamics, track-ready performance, and years of high-velocity expertise are priorities in your next four-wheel toy, give this one a look, unless you're large. If you're weak in the flesh, you'll probably want to invest in a radar detector or a good traffic lawyer, too. This is one of the ultimate no-BS German performance cars on the road today. Thanks for watching.